up guys this is Tilo back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the Cherry Swiss version 4.0.5 official build based on Android 13 and this is the 23rd September 2022 build and I have been using this ROM for quite a long now and I would say this is one of the best customizable ROMs for the Redmi K20 Pro. If you want to flash this ROM on your Redmi K20 Pro you will find the guides for that in the description. You can follow either the ext4 or the f2fs method from the description. So right now let me just quickly show you the about section. We have the Cherry Swiss version as 4.0.5 and this is obviously for Rafael official build and the maintainer is Danny Punk one and we have the Android version as Android 13 and on the bottom we have some listed specs of the device and here if you keep tapping on it you will get the Android 13 Easter egg and if you make this clock to one o'clock as you can see you are getting the Android 13 Easter egg and if you tap here you will get multiple emojis like these and they definitely look cool I would say let me go back we have the security patch of late September 5th 2022 not quite October yet we have the stock kernel as the Soviet star kernel in the system settings this is how it looks we got the live translate then the pop-up camera settings and in the pop-up camera settings we do have the camera calibration option if you want to calibrate the front motorized camera we have the front camera sound effects and you can choose between these options and we have the camera LED customization also we get the front camera raised dialogue let me go back we have the gestures in here we have the quick tap or the back tap kind of gesture you can use it for screenshot or play or pause media etc options even toggle flashlight option is there and of course we also have the quickly open camera then the system navigation gestures in the settings of it we do have the pill length customization and as you can see my pill bar is showing quite long that's because i have the pill length to the maximum settings we have the back gesture animation even the space under keyboard you can customize so swipe to invoke assistant is working perfectly fine here no issues we have the left edge right edge customization then if you scroll down we have the amount of screen height to be used as the back gesture let me go back we have the two button and three button navigation as well we have the one handed mode too that works perfectly fine we have the screen of fod option we have the press on all power button for assistant here we have this double tap feature double tap to check phone i guess and we have the swipe to screenshot that works perfectly fine with three finger screenshot gesture share edit delete and the google lens option appears over here you can edit it however you like it and you can make a doodle just like this and you can share it or delete it from right here and we have the prevent training option if you want to use that also we get a system updated from here you can check for updates and here it shows in bold font that it's the cherry size version 4.0.5 and of course this is the latest build as of right now let me tell you that i could not find the long press power button toggle torch on this particular rom even in the customization settings i couldn't find the long press power button toggle torch in the cherry squares based on android 13. now let's quickly talk about the home screen this is how it looks like and in here if you're noticing we have the battery widget working perfectly fine in this android 13 rom so this is great we can tap here to get into the phone's battery kind of settings and we can tap here to get into the bluetooth battery settings and just notice the animation everywhere just looks awesome even in the home screen by the way i'm using a wallpy apps wallpaper on this particular rom to the left of the home screen we get the google's discover page and yes this is a pixel launcher so no double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen let me show you the settings we have the session disabling option and stuff but yes as this is a pixel launcher we do not get the double tap to sleep in the blank area of the home screen but of course we do have the roms double tap to sleep on the status bar no issues with that and all the other widgets are working fine if you're noticing this google clock widget and we have the weather widget working the subscriber account widget and stuff everything is working perfectly fine swiping on will get you to the app drawer and it is fairly smooth no issues whatsoever with the smooth of this ROM the ROM performs amazingly well swiping down will get you to the quick setting or the notification panel and this is how the quick setting panel looks like just notice how beautiful everything looks and yes there is the pitch black option if you're using dark theme let me show you we have even more toggle adding option you can add this one-handed mode color correction everything and we have even more like the descending and the high brightness mode toggle let me just add those right now let me show you which toggles I have added and let me show you the animations the Android 13 animations works great and we have the Bluetooth battery stat showing up even on the status bar if you're noticing and also it shows up in the notification or the quick setting panel looks beautiful once you enable a toggle this is how the animation looks and we have the auto rate the night light and we have the hotspot plane mode and we have the nearby share the screen recording is there we get these much options for the screen recording and you get multiple like the bigger file size limit and stuff heads up you can disable from right here if you want and the battery saver do not disturb everything is there the data saver option the google home controls the always on display toggle let me go to the next 
quick toggles we have the extra dim then the dc dimming and the high brightness mode is also there this is the outdoor brightness sun mode then we have the sound toggle and if you tap and hold on it you get the volume panel which appears like this i'll explain the volume panel later on but if you just want to get the volume panel you can tap on this volume panel option it will appear from right here also on the bottom we get the app usage activity and we have the settings then we get the power menu if you tap here you do get the advanced reboot over here so you can directly reboot the recovery or fast boot if you want now let's talk about the stock camera well we get a g cam by default over here and it is good that we have all this lens switching option on this by default and we have this 2x LED photo lens working perfectly fine just notice the lens switching option does work perfectly fine we have the night sight option and we have this astrophotography mode and stuff i guess we have the portrait mode and stuff let me actually switch to the front camera in the portrait mode and as you can see it is working perfectly fine let me just increase the exposure because google camera does like to underexpose the shots the front camera and stuff everything is working if you're noticing that and let me actually show you in the video settings we have up to 4k 60 fps shooting option also you can go full hd and 60 fps no issues whatsoever with that even with the front camera we have only the selfie illumination option but of course it didn't be i guess so yeah even for the video the front camera is working fine no issues with that so this gcam is fairly fast let me just take a quick picture and here if i just tap as you can see the picture has taken and the quality of it is just awesome no issues whatsoever with the picture quality with the gcam which is present by default but of course if you're someone who likes miui camera you will be disappointed because there is no miui camera on this particular rom or even you cannot really install a miui camera on android 13 or anx camera on android 13 because simply it's not supported yet on android 13. while playing a music or something let me show you this is how the volume panel looks it shows the apps volume over here you can tap here to actually control the per app volume so that's really great we get per app volume control also if you tap on the first settings option you get this volume output device switching option you can increase or decrease the volume with your bluetooth device or you can switch to the device speaker from here and just notice the animation actually looks dope and here let me show you the next option this is actually to expand the volume panel and it shows the percentage right here and you can go into the mute or general mode or even the vibrate mode from right here and if you increase or decrease the volume this is how the animation actually looks so yes overall the volume kind of panel is definitely beautiful on this rom and we have the cherry settings on top and let me show you the customizations right now if you don't want to see the customization you can skip this part from the timestamps now first of all we have the status bar and in here we have the double tap to sleep on the status bar the background chip and this is the background chip on the status bar i have enabled that and this is how it looks we get the detent time chip over here we have the battery icon style now from here you can choose the battery icon style to big dot circle or big circle there is no icon landscape r style and stuff those kind of things are not here but yes we do get the old style big dotted kind of things circle dotted circle filled etc options now the battery percentage you can choose it to next to the icon or next to the icon left or right and we have the battery style you can also change it to this many options this is for the quick setting panel battery icons by the way we have the clock style you can change it to right center or left in position also you can customize the clock and date format and stuff if you want let me go back and in the status bar icons we have the headset bluetooth etc icons and we have the vaulty icon the vivo icon i don't have a sim card in the device that's why you are not seeing a vaulty icon on the status bar otherwise if you have vaulty sim inserted it will be working perfectly fine and we have the roaming indicator the mic and camera privacy kind of things and we have the show notification count the colored icons i have disabled that also we get the brightness slider option like i can swipe across the status bar to actually increase or decrease the brightness this is a really handy feature for me at least and i personally do like this feature let me go into the quick setting panel we have the quick setting panel transparency customization the quick setting tile styles you can actually change or enable that i guess and we have the quick setting quick pull down you can choose it however you like it the clock font size in the quick setting panel also you can change the brightness slider can have it on show always and we have the position changing option to top or bottom then we have the data usage the height tile tiles and the vertical layout and we have the tile column portrait kind of options then in the theme settings we have the settings layout you can change it between usb oxygen 11 or 12 the cherries and the cherries clean options are there we also have the use black theme this is the pitch black option if you are using the dark theme i would definitely recommend using the pitch black it looks amazing with that we have the dark theme enabling and scheduling option over here then the headline and body fonts 
and we do get a plethora of fonts over here including with the nothing dot font of the headline and the normal one and we have even more like the oneplus thread and stuff all these fonts are present even the samsung ones so yeah amazing amount of font customization you get the icon pack customization is also there we have the akiras and stuff i have been using it with the akiras one also we have the icon shape customization then we have the signal icon styles you can go with the ios style and the windows style and stuff if you want those let me go back we have the wi-fi icon style you can go with the stroke or sneaky everything is there now let me go into the button settings here we have the system now gesture the show volume panel on the left side and stuff but then again we do not have the long press power button to toggle torch over here you have to keep that in mind in the animation settings it shows blank for me at least i don't know why but yeah that's how it is it is a early build of android 13 in the lock screen we have the lock screen double tap to sleep the edge lighting option then we have the always on display scheduling option the charging info also shows up in the lock screen and the lock screen clock style you can change it to these many options and we have the udfps customization we of course get the udfps icons and these are the icons that you get plethora of icon styles are there even this pokeball kind of icons there are huge amount of fingerprint scanner icons which represent the Xiaomi one, the Cherry Swiss logo, if all the other logos like the McLaren one, the Captain America, Iron Man, everything is there. And talking about the UDFPS custom animation, you can enable it and just when you enable it, you will see multiple animations appearing on the bottom. So yes, again, huge amount of UDFPS or fingerprint scanner icon animations are there. Also, you can choose the UDFPS pressed color. So by default, it's on this like cyan kind of color, but you can change it to this pinkish color and the white, the green and the yellowish and again, a pinkish kind of hue. So yeah, this is how you can change the UDFPS pressed color on this particular ROM. And that's just huge. We have the ripple effect, the media cover art, and we have the blood amount for the lock screen artwork. Then we have the power menu customization. And in here we have the advanced reboot option. Let me go back to the notifications. We have the battery charging light. This is for the do not disturb LED light. And we have the alert slider notification, the reticker, and we have the in-call vibration options right here. Let me go back to the MISC settings. In here we have the launch music app on headset connect, the ignore windows secure level flags, and we have the click to take partial screenshots and the unlock higher FPS in games and the unlimited Google photo storage is there. So you do get the Google photo spoof. In the display settings, this is how it looks. We have the brightness level and we have the adaptive or auto brightness. The extra dim feature is there and we have the lock screen kind of customization. In here we have the control from rock devices for the Google home controls from the lock screen and we have the screen of everybody, wake screen for notification and stuff. We have the pocket detection option. You can enable it if you want to. And we have the dark theme and we have the night light custom customization the light display option is there and the color calibration you can actually customize let me scroll down more we have the double tap with the prevent accidental wake up and these two options are there this prevent accidental wake up and pocket detection and we have the ambient display customizations too from here you can enable this pickup gesture if you are willing to use that then we have the custom display settings and there you will find the descending and the high brightness mode in the wallpapers and styles this is how it looks like again you can change the wallpapers from right here also, we have 16 colors for the wallpaper itself with the Monet theme engine. Also, if you want the basic colors, you will also get the basic colors with 16 other options. And we have the dark theme, the themed icons and the app grid customization. We have up to 5x5 five five app grid. Now, let me show you the battery settings. This is how it looks like. We get the battery percentage on top and we have the battery usage kind of things and the battery temperature also shows up on the bottom but yes there is no battery charging cycle as of right now but i have to set it with the aku battery app let me actually show you with that here i have got about nine plus hours of screen on time and that's just huge but you do have to remember that i have a brand new battery over here that's why i got amazing battery life but on this particular rom i have no complaints regarding the battery life the battery life over here is great if your battery's health is good of course just notice i have 96 percent battery health so this is again a brand new battery that's why i have been getting amazing battery life the screen off just notice this is the standby time you can say about 250 hours of standby time that's again a huge amount of number so no standby drain at all i would say overall and the combined usage actually shows 90 hours that's again a huge amount of number so overall i would say the battery life on this particular rom has been one of the best on android 13 and in case if you're wondering about the fast charging yes the 18 watt fast charging is working perfectly fine no issues whatsoever but with 30 watt fast charger it charges really really fast but also it gets heated up quite quickly. So you have to keep that in mind. If you're using a 32 watt charger, it will fast charge really quickly. 
In the sound and vibration settings, we have the media call ring, etc. Volume controls. If you scroll down more, we have the vibration kind of haptics options, and you can customize that for the alarm, touch, feedback, media vibration, etc. Options. Let me go back. We have the dialpad tones, the screen locking sound, screenshot sound, and we have the charging sound and vibration and stuff per app volume control. We also have the clear speaker option if you want to use that. But I cannot really find a Mi Audio Direct. But I have to say the sound quality overall on this particular ROM has been great with the headphone jack, the speakers, the Bluetooth devices, earpiece, everything has been amazing. In the security settings, let me show you there is the screen lock and we have the fingerprint option. And if you go into the settings of the screen lock, we have the quick unlock option, but there is no face unlock or no app lock present as of right now. So you have to remember on Android 13, you are not getting those face unlock or app lock options. But right now, let me just quickly show you the fingerprint scanner speed over here. But as you can see, I have the always on display disabled. So if I just tap here, as you can see right now, the screen of FOD is working. But sometimes I have seen the screen of FOD was not working. 40% of the time, it was not working. But 60% of the time, the screen of FOD is actually working. So that's how the situation is. But double tap to wake is actually working fine. But sometimes when I'm just double tapping like this, I have seen the glow on the fingerprint scanner, it does that for one second. Like when I tap the fingerprint scanner, that blue kind of glow, it does that for one second sometimes. But yes, this is how the lock screen looks like. And right now, if I tap the fingerprint scanner, as you can see, it unlocks. Let me try one more time. You have to keep the finger over there for a couple of like seconds, I would say. As you can see, if I just tap and move the finger, it won't unlock sometimes, but right now it has unlocked. So that's how it is, but the fingerprint scanner overall, what I am trying to say is really fast. As you can see, that blue glow was there. As you can see, right now it's there once I am double tapping. So yeah, that's how it is. So yeah, the fingerprint scanner speed overall is great, no issues. And by the way, if you enable the always on display, this is how the always on display will look. And overall the animation of it, once you are double tapping and stuff, just notice how bold the font becomes on the lock screen and it becomes thinner in the always on display. Looks beautiful and yes, even from the always on display, it is unlocking the device super fast, no issues whatsoever. So fingerprint scanner gets a huge thumbs up from me, it is fast and snappy, no issues with that. Talking about the basic things, yes, it passes safety net test right out of the box, so banking apps will not be a problem on this particular ROM. And talking about DRM info, it stays L1, so you can stream Netflix or Amazon Prime videos in 1080p without any problems. Let me talk about one more thing, that is the display's refresh rate. Yes, this display is running at 60 Hz all the time. There is no 72 Hz and stuff as of right now. So by default running at 60 Hz is smoother, but definitely it is not as smooth as 72 Hz. So if you are moving from Evolution X Android 12 L and stuff, you will feel the display is a little slower, but overall in daily operations, you won't find any lags or stutters. The K20 Pro has a 855 and it is handling Android 13 amazingly well, I would say. And even opening apps and stuff and scrolling between them is no problem whatsoever. Just notice how smoothly it scrolls. No issues whatsoever at all. There is no stutteriness even in the recent panel and stuff. Everywhere, the whole UI just stays smooth. You can actually make this one slow in Android 13. And if you are not able to get an idea about the overall performance, here are the benchmarks, the Android 20 Geekbench scores with a CPU stress test on this particular build. And of course, there are the split top and stuff in the recent panel. And from here, you can enable the split top. This is how it works. And while scrolling, it is working perfectly fine. You can double tap in the middle to actually switch the windows just like this. And just notice how quickly it switches. There is no glitches and stuff. So yeah, overall, I would say this is an amazing performer based on Android 13 for the Redmi K20 Pro. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. Please share this video with your friends if you feel like. This is Tito from KDNDX signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.